Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial and overview of the Center plugin from Waves. Center is a really cool plugin because it allows you to essentially isolate uh, your center material um, from your stereo, your side material. Um, so this is useful for a number of reasons if you want to maybe enhance uh, your stereo material on the left and right of your mix, or maybe you want to accentuate material in the center, say like kick drum, snare drum, vocals. Um, it also allows you to blend the low end more toward the center or more toward the sides. You can blend the uh, high end more toward the center or more toward the sides. And you can also push the transients more toward the center or more toward the sides. So that's really cool. Um, it's very easy to use too, and um, it doesn't really even require much of a tutorial at all. So this is more or less an overview. So one of the things I love using um, Center for is for mastering, um, particularly when I get a mix where there's maybe a little bit too much ambient material. Maybe the engineer went a little, um, you know, a little bit reverb happy, and they had a little bit too, just too much. Um, stereo information. Maybe I want to pull the uh, the vocals, the dry signal, the vocals, the kick drum, the snare drum, things in the center up to the front of the mix and maybe tame down uh, the stereo material. And that's exactly what happened in our first example up here. Um, we uh, mixed this uh, and the speakers that we used uh, to mix it, it sounded great. And then we, uh, we went and mastered it. And the, I like the tones that we got out of mastering, but the just the uh, the reverb material is a little bit too much reverb, and the vocals aren't quite as pushed forward as a singer would like. So let me uh, just bypass center here and play you a little bit of this mix. It's a good mix. Um, she just wants to hear the, the the vocals a little more forward and a little bit less uh, reverb. So let me just, uh, as an example here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the center up. I'm going to pull the sides all the way down. I'm going I'm to flip flop just so you can see uh, see what we're isolating here. So here's just the center. And here's just the side material. So you can hear in the sides, you can hear like doubled up acoustic guitar, reverbs. Um, some of the like the overheads of the drums, the center is more like the vocal, the kick, the snare, the bass. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the sides down a bit just to sort of downplay a lot of that stereo uh, stereo material, and it'll also um, help to push the vocals forward a bit. Now, because the bass is in the center and the kick drum's in the center, I want to push the low end more toward the center. And because I've got things like reverbs and, um, you know, uh, strum, strumming acoustic guitar on the sides, I'm going to pu push a little bit of the highs into the sides. I'm going to push the punch into the center because that's where the kick and the snare are. So here's the before. And then the after. So it's a little drier, it's a little more tame um, stereo wise, but that's what the singer wanted. She wanted the vocals to come through a little bit better and also tame down some of that uh, extra reverb and, and side information. All right, uh, let's take a look at another example here. Um, let me just bypass center here. By the way, for all these examples, I'm just throwing center uh, right on my uh, stereo output, um, just so I don't have to keep switching between different uh, different tracks. Uh, all right, so this is just like a, a programmed drum beat. Um, in this drum beat, there's not quite enough of the side information. There's some like claps and and hi hat and things like that that are on the sides, where the, whereas the kick and center is completely, or uh, kick, kick and snare are completely in the center. So we kind of want to bring out some of that uh, side information. So let me just reset the plugin. By the way, you can just option click on any of the buttons or knobs and it uh, or knobs and faders, and it sets it back to default. So let's listen to it uh, as is. So you can hear in the sides, there's a lot of the reverb, the hi-hats, the claps, and some the claps really get lost. They get completely buried, um, uh, and it's just because of the kick and the snare. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to pull the center down, 
just to downplay the kick and snare a bit. I'm going to put the low into the center because that's where the snare is. Put a lot of the, the highs into the sides and put a lot of the punch into the center. Let's see what that sounds like. So again, the before. And then the after. So yeah, when those claps come in, they're very, very noticeable now. It also makes the whole, tr uh, the whole drum track a little bit more ambient. All right, let's move on to the next one. It's another drum example. Um, in this example, uh, these are programmed drums as well, but they're, it's a programmed acoustic kit. And there's, I believe there's not enough, there's not enough um, sort of overhead material or cymbal material in it. There's too much uh, kick and snare and not enough cymbals. Um, so let's just uh, bypass center and let's see what this sounds like. So like with the last track, a lot of the kick and snare is in the center. Um, there's a lot of like uh, sort of reverb, uh, hi-hats, and uh, other cymbals in the sides. So we're going to kind of do the same thing here. We're going to tame down uh, the kick and snare just a bit, but we are going to still keep the punch in the center to make those the kick and snare nice and punchy. Uh, again, we're going to move the highs over to the sides and move the lows to the center. And let's see what this sounds like. If we wanted the kick and snare to pick up some more of, uh, of the highs, we could uh, roll the high knob over to uh, the center. So again, here's the before. And the after. So much more ambient. We're hearing a lot more of the overheads in there as well. Um, all right, let's move on to some other instruments. Uh, we've got uh, an acoustic uh, uh, rhythm guitar here. This was just recorded with two mics. Um, it's not like a mid-side um, array or anything like that. It's just uh, two mics uh, on the guitar. I believe it's two AKG 451s is what we did. Um, let's give this a listen. Let me just uh, go ahead and bypass center here. So I'm thinking a lot of the boxiness of the guitar is going to be in the center. And I think a lot of the shimmeriness, the, the high end, is going to be on the sides. Yeah, so um, for this, I just thought that the recording was a little too boxy sounding. This is going to be layered underneath a whole bunch of other uh, other rhythm instruments. So I kind of want to bring out the sort of the sparkle of of the sides of the of, in the high end. Um, so I'm just going to pull the high frequencies into the sides. Um, I'm going to play with the punch knob as I play it and see which one which direction I like better. Yeah, I like it over in the sides because it's actually given the, the bright, uh, strummy sounds on the sides a little bit more punch. Uh, so here's the before, kind of boxy sounding. So yeah, the center plug-in really tames down the boxiness of that guitar. All right, uh, let's try this on electric guitar now. Same thing, just a sort of like a rhythm part here. And we'll go ahead and bypass center. Let's see what this sounds like uh, uh, before. So 
So this is um, uh, just a, a guitar amp. I think it's um, some sort of Marshall uh, uh, low wattage uh, tube amp. Uh, but we mic'd it up with two mics. Uh, I believe it was a, a Bear Dynamic M160 and just a Shure SM57. Um, and uh, you know, channel one is completely one mic, and channel two is another mic. Uh, I think we're going to have some of the same results we had at the acoustic guitar. We're going to hear a lot of boxiness in the center and a lot of shimmer out on the sides. Uh, so let me just uh, play with the faders and let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, we get a lot of the grit sort of in the in the center. We got a lot of the sparkle on the outsides. I pulled down some of the sparkle on the sides, just gives a little bit more focus. And if we layered this with a second guitar, it probably and then pan pan those tracks left and right, we'd probably end up with something nice and uh, and full sounding. So again, here's the before. Just a little more warm sounding, a little more focused when I turn center on. All right, uh, lastly, I have uh, sort of like a synth idea here. It's like sort of like um, an arpeggiated synth that's got sort of like an underlying atmosphere reverb, uh, sort of like pad underneath it. Um, let me just go ahead and play this with center turned off. sort of going to run into the same concept as all these other tracks. A lot of the meat is going to be in the center. A lot of the shimmer and the atmosphere and reverb is going to be on the sides. Uh, so let's just play around with that. So this is just the center of it. So that's sort of the meat of the, uh, the synthesizer with the arpeggio there. The sides are probably going to have a lot of reverb and atmosphere in them. There's also a delay effect on this too, so the, the delays are in the sides. So what we could do with this is if we wanted to make this uh, synth idea a little bit more atmospheric, we could pull down the center and then accent the sides, or likewise if we want it to be less atmospheric, we could pull down the sides and keep the center up. And we could try it the other way. So we could make the synth idea a little bit more focused by keeping the center up, make it a little bit more ambient by pulling the center down. All right, so keep in mind with all of these examples, uh, pretty much everything I'm doing, I'm just dialing in to taste. It's my own personal taste. There isn't just one way uh, to do it. Um, you know, going back to the very first example that we were mastering, um, you know, I kind of liked the more ambient mix. The singer didn't like that. She, you know, she had a, she wanted her vocals to sort of pop out and be a little bit more dry. So it's, it's all about personal taste, but, uh, Center is an, an awesome plugin for, uh, controlling some of those mid-side, uh, issues and sort of enhancing ambience in a track or maybe downplaying ambience in a track. And again, it's great for pushing out things that are in the center of a mix, vocals, um, kick drum, snare drum, things that you always see in the center that are sort of like, in a lot of ways, bass guitar, and a lot of ways are sort of the meat of the song. You can pull the meat of the song up and then pull the, the sort of stereo ambient information down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.
Hey guys, if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel to see multiple new videos added every week. Also, you can check out carneymediagroup.com where you can view all of my video tutorials, search for specific topics, download the videos ad-free, and in some cases you can purchase session content so you can work along with me in the video. Also, please consider giving a monthly contribution at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.